Hey guys, it's Nathan here. I was just wanting to let you guys know the next video here that I'm doing right now, I'm doing on Opana's uh, Opana review. Um, and <clears throat> just the legality of it and the dosage. So Opana is like a high strength um, opiate, really high strength opiate. And it derives from the poppy plant. And the thing is, is it's amazing. What you find. Amazing. Alright, in the legality, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's going to be a scheduled drug in this state because it's it's been scheduled and prescribed for people all over, so it's more of a regulated and well-known drug. But Opana is very strong, and I've taken them before. I've taken 30s, I've taken halves of those, and it's oxymorphone. Sold under the brand names Nurofen and among others is an opioid pain medication, pain relief after injection be begins after 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, snorting this would be very good because internasal, it has a 37.5 chance percent of going into the bloodstream. And the elimination half-life, it's 7 to 9 hours duration of action, 6 to 8 hours orally, 4 to 6 hours paraternal. So it would last like 6 to 8 hours if you, or 7 to 8, if you snorted it internasally. Okay? So that's the best thing to do but I know some oxymorphone pills have coatings on them and stuff so I know people scrape them off or melt them off or put them in their mouth and suck them off and shit like that it's real weird but the dose on this is uh, coming up right now cuz you really have to know what you're what you're doing you really have to know the dosage and all that shit. Alright. I'm trying to find it. It lasts a long time though. Very long time. Alright. The dosage, uh, I really, really, really would uh, figure this out here for us. The dosage and whatnot. Freaking sucks whenever you trying to find something on there and it doesn't work. Now I've been <clears throat> I've been taking uh, opiates for a long time, and uh, it's very strong compared to other ones. And if I were to choose, I would probably pick uh, Oxymorphone Opana.
in the table of contents here. <clears throat> Initial dosing. To avoid medication errors, prescribers, pharmacists must be aware that oxymorphone is available both as immediate release 5 mg, 10 mg tablets, and extended release 5 mg and 10 mg tablets. Opana ER should be prescribed only by healthcare professionals who are knowledgeable in the use of the potent opioids for management of chronic pain. Yeah, your respiratory depression for the first 24 to 72 hours initiating therapy with Opana e ER. So it's very, it makes you, makes that go slow down. Yeah, I'd start out with like one 10 milligram upon an ER. And that'd be it. Main thing, there's people that have died from these though. Just like Oxycontin, just like anything else, you could die from it. And the main part is just monitoring yourself and make sure you're taking a correct amount of dosage or a safe amount of drugs and uh <clears throat> that's the main thing but uh yeah that's mainly what i got to say about that and i'll show you guys exactly what what it looks like what uh opana looks like too because these come in like red too This is one right here. That's interesting. That's pretty cool though. They got a pink one right down there, the K seventy ones. I like the uh there's there's the G. That orange one is very strong. And the blue ones down there. So they look like upon us. I've taken the half moon and uh, ER half moon and those were extended release and whenever whenever I took that I had dreams about like dead people and stuff like that it it was really scary because it was like an old man that was totally purple laying on a hospital bed being rolled into a hospital it was weird Yeah, even just 15 milligrams, very strong. The moon ones is right here. It's two set acti activist 271. That's that's the exact one I took right there, that orange one. That's the moon. And it really would would tear me up. It would really you know be strong and make me feel very 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 relaxed but made me have them weird ass dreams so in this case I mean I would recommend it because it's very good for pain but uh always ask your doctor and talk to your doctor and everything like that you know because um in the legality of this is on here it's uh it's a schedule two in uh uh, the United States and North Carolina. Uh, we can see the legality of it because
Yeah, because it's uh, scheduled. It's scheduled because I know that for a fact. Because it says, uh, see, it's a Schedule 2 in the United States, Class A in the UK. Um, in Denmark, it's an Analog 2, authorized trade only, not pres prescribable. California, it's a Schedule 1. Australia, it's a S8 controlled substance. So, yep, that's that's all that comes with Opanas, you know. So you got to go to a doctor to get it. So definitely, this review, you know, I hopefully it'll help people understand more about it. The good dose to start off with is uh, um, a half of a 15 milligram pill, or if you have 10 milligram or 30 milligram, I'd break it down to quarters. But anyways. I hope you guys have a great day and, a, and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. This is Nathan. Have a good one.